Okay, now, um, just moving um, quickly on, just the last item on Carl's re-education this week. Uh, Rasputin, you read a little book about Rasputin? Uh, what did you know about Rasputin before you read the book, Carl? Can I just tell you, oh. when I handed him this book, it was my house, so he, went, he went, Ah, oh, is he the one that lived under the bridge? <laughs> and I went, what do you mean? He went, the fellow that lived under the bridge and he had to, he went, and you had to pass him with a, with a, yeah, and Jane, um, went, you're thinking of, um, Rapunzel. And he went, yeah, and I went, well, that's not Rapunzel either. <laughs> Rapunzel, L Rapunzel's, you had to say, isn't that, you know, you had to guess his The person who lived under the bridge was a troll in the three little, yeah, three little graphs, I'm a troll folding well. well. So, to answer your question, Steve, that's what he knew about <laughs> Rusty Ewing. <laughs> Okay. So have you read this whole book? Can I just have a look at it, Rick? This whole book, it's about the size of a beer mat. Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking, it. but did, did, so did you read the whole thing? No. You didn't well, manage you to didn't read the whole thing? you didn't even do that. Well, again, some of the names in there are so long and foreign sounding that I just thought, <laughs> I can't, I can't remember all these. So I no. just got to the meat of the story. Go on, okay, what, what did there? you learn from about Rasputin? Right, um, he was, um, he was a monk. Yep. And, um, uh, Mad? Uh, he... Was he a mad monk? Hang on a minute. Don't, Don't confuse you. Sorry. Right. Go on. Um... God. You see, this is what happened in the exams. <laughs> <laughs> right, it was... it was... Oh, don't do that when I'm drinking, Carl. Was, please, mate. He loved his women. <laughs> that's how, how the story started off. Uh, he had really <laughs> nice... The story started off? Yeah. He had really nice eyes, and that's what everyone fell for, especially the women. Yeah. Anyway, they thought... The people back then thought he had special powers because, um, he could hypnotise people or something. Oh, yeah. And it was about a little lad who, um, <laughs> who had some sort of blood clot on his leg. And, um, and he said, just calm down and you'll be alright. And people thought he had special powers, but what it was, what he was doing, he was saying calm down and he relaxed and it stopped the blood flowing sort of as fast. Mm. And that's how he got better. But anyway, that's the only bit of special work that he did. And then he kept going on and he was going in brothels and all that. And, um, and the people in the town thought, this isn't right, he shouldn't be going about doing this. And, um... Where did he live? Uh, Russia. Right. Is that right? Yep. What sort of era? I thought you'd might know, you know, about 1800. Okay. All right. Okay. And, um, and then... Do you want to check people, that, Steve? You got the book? People well, got I know sick for a fact that's not right. <laughs> People got sick of him and, um, and they said, oh, we'll have to get rid of him. So they tried to, he, he loved cakes as well as women. Okay. So they said, let's poison a cake. And they poisoned a load Easier of cakes. Easier than poisoning a woman, wouldn't and, it? And, uh, and they ate these cakes and it just didn't kill him and they, they were like, God, what's going on? And they kept giving him more and more cakes and... <laughs> he was suspicious. <laughs> and that didn't work, so the fella said, oh, that's it, I'm gonna shoot him. So... <laughs> <laughs> well, I imagine it was the end of his tether. So... I mean, he was back and forth to Mr. Kipling's, he you know, like, He on. shot him once, and that didn't work, and the fella thought, oh my god. And he started running away, and Rasputin's running after him, and he shoots him like another, I think he took four Face bullets. full of, uh, Battenberg. Four... <laughs> four bullets he took. swear, then. Four bullets. It took to kill him, and then this fella who was after him chucked him in an icy lake, and that was the end of him. But I don't understand... <laughs> Sort of... What don't you understand, Carl? Well, the fact that, you know, he's a bit of a name in history. And I don't understand why, because <laughs> it just sounds a bit like my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Does he love women and cakes? And do you think that'll be his downfall? <laughs> right, I want you to study, right. If you want to do, uh, that's the first introduction, right. If you want to do some extracurricular... What would that um, get stuff, Get, there's, there's a song by Boney M that... Yeah, yeah, lays yeah. It out. Suzanne told me about that, saying about uh, <laughs> Russia's greatest love machine. Yeah, but it didn't say anything about cakes. No, so I think if you get the twelve-inch mini, no, but they, they, like they say it, it, according to Boney M, and I don't know who's who's correct. The bloke wrote that or M. Um, they put some poison into his wine. Now I don't know if uh, uh, M have done their research mm -hmm. or whether yeah, uh, they did shoot him until he was dead. Um, it, I put it that he was the greatest love machine in Russia. I, again, I don't think it says that in the book, but no. M might know more than that fella. So what's know. your final verdict on, uh, Ra Ra Rasputin? Just, um, just a normal bloke who didn't have that much luck, really. I, I you know, I, that's, that's what I don't understand. I was waiting for something special at the end, but just a normal fella, really. Yeah, yeah. just an everyday, that was all the time, didn't it? Just an everyday mad monk. Yeah, just every day mad monk, you have to shoot and poison and throw in icy lakes to kill him, and, uh, who, uh, loves women and cakes. I mean, 
Come on, do we need another one of them? <laughs> Boring. Oh, oh. What would you say about him then? How would you sum him up? I think you've done it. I think you've done it. There you go. So next week, Che Guevara, you gonna read the book? I don't know. Come yeah, on. Next week, Che Guevara, take it home. There he is. Come here, then. Oh, what's your looks? Sugar babes are freaks electric. Are they, Carl? Dunno. I feel like, uh, feels like Christmas Day. What, well, you didn't get the gift you wanted? Yeah, do you know that, like, anti-climax? Yeah. When, uh... You've been looking forward to it for so long. Yeah, you know... Well, I mean, I knew you were looking forward to it, that's why it took you 14 years <laughs> to get the result, and then it was two other people that got them for you. Do you so wish I... that we hadn't done it? Uh, no. It's alright. It's alright, isn't it? What's your girlfriend gonna say? I don't think I'll see her again. <laughs> <laughs> she, she likes a man who knows about the Tudors and Stuarts, does she? Yeah, first gladiator, then the... Yeah, you've been bluffing. She goes, whenever she says, where's it go to Stuarts? You go, oh, good. Like, <laughs> yeah. lo lots of things, but I, uh, look, 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 it's a bird. What happened to Henry VIII's last wife? Oh, oh I wouldn't... I, oh, yeah. Oh, look, Friends is on <laughs> telly. Friends is on. <laughs> Can yeah. I just change the subject by saying things like, you know, about the, the only king in a pack of cards? <laughs> that threw off the scent. That <laughs> threw us off the scent. That wouldn't, that wouldn't fool an invigilator, would it? Mm. That's the thing. You can't use that one uh, with an exam board. Carl, have mm. you ever logged on to Friends Reunited? It was the site that everyone was talking about last year. No. Are you aware of the concept? I've heard about it, but there's no one from school who would want to see oh, it again, with. really. So basically, for those that don't know, you have to log onto his website and then you can help, it helps you track down your old schoolmates if they've also logged on and stuff. And, uh, we sort of took the liberty, really, of, of looking on the Friends Reunited site and <laughs> typing in your school and trying to track down any of your old mates. We didn't get in touch with any of them, don't we worry. We didn't do that. We're we not going to surprise you with them now. No. But I was just interested to know, like, some of your thoughts on some of the names that I could run past you. I mean, these are people from your year. Um, just tell me if you recognise the names. Alison Birch? Think I remember. What's your thought? What's your thoughts on it? Uh, no, don't, don't, don't be libelous. Don't no. say, don't be like, no. No. Oh. Um, Posh, uh, probably did pretty well in history and that. <laughs> Sarah Morris? God, yeah. Remember her. Go on. You're grinning. What was the thought? <laughs> Go on. No, just, um, she was alright. She was a popular one. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it was, she was nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, what about, uh, Darren Buckley? He was, uh, he was one of my best mates. Was he really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. What do you reckon he's doing now? Do you still keep in touch? Um, when my mum and dad were still in Manchester and they had a booty shop, he used to go in because the bookies was next door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he paints a picture. He used to, uh, if, if you do this in your history exam, Carl, you will walk it. Go on. So you, your parents had a butty shop, there was a bookies next door? Yeah, and he, 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 he liked having a bit of a gamble, so he used to, um, I think he works for some insurance company. Do you think it? that his fiance Beth knows he's got a gambling problem? <laughs> Yeah. Or that his two-year-old son, Lewis. No. Yeah, they live in Cheadle H Home. Hume. Uh, Cheadle Hume. He must be doing well. It's He's still supporting the Blue Army and frequents the shrine on a fortnightly basis. The funny thing with him is, right, when, um, I used to stay over at his house and, um, his dad was a copper and, um, and I remember his dad came down and said, right, I want to see you two. I was like, oh, God, what's happened? And, um, got us round the, round the table. He said, um, do you know much about drugs? So we were like, what's all this about? So he goes, you know, they, they're not, they're not good for anyone, you know, the stupid thing to get into. And we're like, yeah, we know. And he went, you know, do you? He said, yeah. He said, what's this then? And he'd found something in his bedroom and it was a skittle. <laughs> what the sweet? Do you know, little sweets with the S on it. <laughs> and oh, really? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he said, well, yeah, it's a skittle. Yeah, I know what it is. He said, oh, he was bluffing like that as a slang word. Yeah, he thought, he thought, because he was a copper, he probably had to be down with all the terms and that. So we said, oh, it's a skittle. And he, he said, yeah, yeah, I know what it is, but what's it doing in your bedroom? <laughs> oh. And it was like, no, it's a toffee. <laughs> so, uh, Darren, uh, yeah, I know, it's a toffee, it's a squib, it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah.